G'day. In today's video, I've got a ZTE Blade A5 2020 model. Now, this is also a Telstra model, and I can't quite remember its name, so we'll go with ZTE for now. What I'm doing with this one is I'm doing a motherboard swap to this one, as the phone is currently looking like that, quite bent. So this is going to be the easiest way to get this up and going. So with the phone switched off, and the SIM card ejected, we should be able to get in. We do want to be cautious on this side as this flex cable is here. And the other side should be right. So I'm going to start with the metal pry tool and see how we go from there. Going between the colour and the black. At least, yes, that's where it does need to go. Just accidentally turn that on. Uh, well, you get that sometimes. There we go. Now we're in. I'm going to take out the screws in this top section. So typically with the cheaper phones or the provider branded phones. So for example, Telstra and Optus in Australia, they tend to use rebadged Chinese phones, ZTE, Huawei, sometimes Oppo. They're not exactly great quality, they are made to order, and there's usually not many spare parts for them. So because of that, usually if you require parts for it, you're usually buying an older, uh, a second hand model in good condition to be able to salvage the parts. Granted, this one's being done purely for data recovery, so it's not like it's really a vital repair for someone if they, let's say this was just their everyday phone and they didn't require the data, then there's not much point really getting it repaired. But in this particular instance for data recovery, and from here I'll disconnect the battery charging port and the display, disconnect the antenna, and try and lift the board up. I'm not seeing any screws in there holding it. No, lift. There we go. And the two cameras here have stayed. I'm going to put this aside now, this one here, there is a tab here that holds it down, I just kind of push it in and slide it, push down, yeah, actually I will just disconnect these ones. Install back on here. Line it up, push, there we go. And hopefully can lift that up, like so. There. And these four copper bits here have to connect onto there. And what that does is a pin connector for the power button. Should we line it up. Push down, there, there. Reconnect antenna cable. 
like so. Connect display, connect charging board, connect battery. Two, three. And it's a matter of putting this back on and screwing it back together from here. All these screws I'm going to assume are the same length. I've had one screw disappear on me, which was the warranty screw. So being that I'm working on another one of these, I'll just grab a screw from there, put it into here, and that's that pretty much a board swap done on this one. Get that out of the way. Looks like it slides over from the bottom. And work your way to the top. go, sim tray in, and we're done. Hope that helps, and I'll see you later. Bye.